Hello and welcome. Uh, I notice people from all over the world and thank you for your time and hope we make this worthwhile for everyone who's participating here. We're going to talk about visual comfort in lighting design and we're going to limit ourselves to light and people. Actually, when we talk about lighting, uh, we are, when we talk about artificial lighting, it is actually only for people we design. Uh, unfortunately, we started losing out somewhere and we started designing lighting for the purpose of lighting. We are aware that uh, when we receive li uh, light from the sun, it comes to us in the form of energy and only a small part of that is visible to us. We call it the visible spectrum. Uh, when light was invented or when we started using electricity, uh, uh, when we started using uh, fire as our uh, source of light, it was only for safety and security. And it remained like that for many, many years, um, probably 50,000 years. And it was only uh, later when Edison il invented electricity that we started Use, uh, using light for functionality for actual tasks. So how do we move from visual discomfort to visual comfort? What are the what are the basic things which we need to do? So visual comfort basically means the right quality and the right quantity of light. Placement of lights again does not require rocket science. We can actually choose uh, uh, this uh, judiciously, you don't need, uh, you don't even need a lighting designer on many occasions for this. So uh, common sense is something which is, uh, which can be used, and a lot of problem can be sorted out there. So uh, our DNA actually is designed for clear skies and warm light uh, during the evening uh, at low intensity, and that is what what makes us all very comfortable. And when we go down to sl sleep, uh, the warm light switches off. And so we get an absolute dark, dark uh, atmosphere, which would help us to sleep. So thank you very much.